What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my humble abode. This is where I live. I'm back at home in the UK. I got back from Dubai like a week, maybe a little more ago. And then I went to Geneva. Yeah, I went to Geneva for the motor show and then I came back. I think I've been back for like a week and a half, maybe? If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that on my last day of uh, my trip to Dubai, I was arrested and taken by Dubai's CID, which is kind of like a special police, like special, I don't know, undercover cops, or like some super legit police, apparently. A lot happened on that day, and everybody has been messaging me like, James, what's going on? Are you in jail? Are you like locked up in Dubai somewhere in some kind of weird, crazy, scary prison? I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what happened on that day and just share the story with you because it was mental. So let's start. At the very beginning, me and Maggie D, Magdalena, we were out climbing in, where were we? Downtown Dubai, like five minutes from the Burj, super close to it. And we climbed this massive crane, which is awesome. And then finished, we went back to the hotel. We got to sleep at like 6 a.m., like something savagely late, stupidly late, but kind of normal for me anyway. I got into bed, I'm like, oh, full night of climbing. The nicest thing is just to get into bed and just shut your eyes and float away into dreamland. So I'm chilling, right? I'm going to sleep. And about two hours later, the hotel like phone next to my head just starts ringing. And I'm like, come on, I'm trying to sleep. Dude's trying to sleep. So I answer the phone. It's like this nice little guy from downstairs. He's like, hey, is this Mr. Kingston? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, uh, can you please come downstairs? Uh, you're credit card has a problem. When I'm sleepy, I'm kind of like cranky like most people. And I'm like, really? I, I didn't pay with a credit card, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, the hotel was paid, like we paid it, it was done. Uh, and then it was like, yes, but you need to come downstairs. And I was like, you just, I'll come down later. And I, I hung up on the dude, sorry dude. And I went back to sleep. And then what felt like maybe half an hour later, door, big knocks on the door and I'm like, what is going on? And Maggie D's woken up and she's like, what is going on as well? She goes to the door and it's the same guy from downstairs. He's like, oh, uh, is Mr. Kingston there? We have a problem with the credit card. And she's like, I oh, can't we do it later? And they're like, oh, no, we need to do it now. And I'm like, what is going on? Like something's going on and it's annoying. <laughs> so I'm laying in bed and I can hear Maggie D at the door talking to this guy. And then all of a sudden I hear like this other voice and I'm in bed, obviously, like in my boxies, just trying to sleep. And I'm like, okay, right, I just, I'll get up and I'll go to the door and I'll see what's going on and I'll tell them to, to just go away or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. So I'll get up, I get some clothes on, I go to the door, I open the door, there's this nice little Indian man. Then all of a sudden, like these four dudes just come out from the side of the door. And I'm like, what is going on? Five, well, four plus the little Indian hotel dude just there at the door, like, Mr. Kingston, we need to speak to you. Like, there's a problem, please come with us. And I'm like, what, what, what's the problem? I didn't pay with a credit card, first of all. What's going on? It's bloody half eight in the morning. I'm trying to sleep, dudes. And they're like, we can't tell you why, but you need to come with us. You need to come with us for like an hour and then we'll bring you back. You're not in trouble, but you need to come with us, but we can't tell you why. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why are you here? Why are you trying to kidnap me, first of all? The thing was that was kind of like a bit sketchy was that that hotel was just terrible. Like the worst hotel I think I've ever stayed in. And I was like, damn it, these dudes are maybe gonna try and like scam me or beat me up and take all my money or I don't know, something weird like that. I just felt like that was going on because I did, like, what, what else could it have been? And then I'm like, okay, I'll give these guys a chance. I'll, they're like, just come downstairs with us. I'm like, okay, I'll come downstairs. At least like there's staff and there's like members of the public downstairs. So I go downstairs with these guys. They're not telling me anything. They're all just like four big men dressed normally. And I'm kind of freaking out because I'm tired. And I don't know what's going on and I'm, I'm freaking cranky. And I'm like on edge and I'm trying to, trying to suss things out. But I can't because they're just four dudes and it's just like trippy. And I'm tired, right? I'm tired. Do you get that? I'm tired. So we're downstairs. I'm still questioning these guys. I'm like, what's going on? Who are you? Like, you expect me to just come with you when I don't know who you are? What, like, ha think about that for a second. I'm not going anywhere with you guys because I don't know who the hell you are. You're four men and I'm one man. Really? And they still, they, like, they don't tell me anything. They will not tell me anything. They're like, we can't tell you anything. Just come with us. And then like, they start walking towards the front door of the hotel. 
and there's like this blacked out BMW like full X6, like a big X6. And they're like, please, Mr. Kingston, get in the car. And I'm like, what? What? What are you doing? I'm not getting in your car. No chance. And he's like, please, like, you have to come with us. I'm like, no, no. Nah. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't getting in the car with four random dudes that I don't even know and won't tell me anything about what's going on. And he was like, look, you need to come with us. We are the CID. I'm like, what? I don't know what the CID is, dude. I haven't got a clue. He like showed me this ID, but he flashed me it for like two seconds. I'm like, what is that? It's like a little white plastic, cheap looking ID thing that you could probably go down some dodgy street and get for a tenner. And I'm like, what is this? Like, it's just a piece of plastic. It doesn't show anything. Then he kind of got a bit defensive and he was like, look, don't disrespect us. I'm, like, I'm not disrespecting you, but try and see this from my perspective. Like you're four random big dudes. You're coming to get me and take me somewhere. I don't know where I'm going, right? You understand that? Do you want it? So after he told me that they were the CID, I was like, first of all, I don't know what the CID is. So I go to the woman at the reception and I'm like, what is the CID? Do you know, like, did you call these guys or what? Do you, what's the CID? And she's like super quiet because the hotel's dodgy. And then this random kind of, I think it was just a customer came out of like the lift. And I was like, excuse me, do you know what the CID is? Because these men have just come to the hotel, excuse me, and are trying to take me with them, claiming to be the CID when I don't know what the bloody CID is. He didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know what they were. And then all of the guys start like kind of getting a bit weird because I'm shouting about in the hotel reception trying to, like if something dodgy is going on, make some noise, dude. My screen's gone off. Come back on. Come back on. Yes. So I'm like, okay, if I make some noise and kind of cause a bit of a bit of a situation, maybe they'll, I don't know, maybe they'll disappear or I, I don't know. I was just trying stuff. Nothing happened. Like as soon as people found out they were the CID, everybody just shut up and left them to it. So I'm like, okay, maybe maybe there is something legit to these guys. And they're like, please, Mr. Kingston, come with us in this car. I'm like, I'm not getting in your car, man. I'm not getting in that car. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing. And then I was like, okay. If you can get me the real police, not that they weren't real, but like the real recognizable police in the police outfits and the proper police car, I'll get in that. Because then at least I know that I'm with something that is official and real and I can see that it's real, right? And they're like, okay. And they call someone up and literally two minutes later, cop car pulls up, two, two dudes get out and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is really happening. These are the real police. And then off we go, we're driving, we're driving. And I'm in the back of this police car with the, with the main guy. So they take me into the police headquarters. Still just completely confused and out of it. Tired with like morning mouth, you know, like morning breath, like what? disgusting. They put me into this little room. There's like a couple of desks, a nice little couch. I'm sat on the couch, they all come in. The main guy's there, he's like, okay, James, we know what you're doing. We know what you do. We've been following you for a long time, but it has to stop. So for that whole month, as you've probably seen, I uploaded like eight videos, right? Eight videos, like climbs and all sorts. I was just going for it. I was fully going for it. And I got like 50,000 subscribers, which is friggin' nuts, dude. 50,000 subs in a month. So I'm in this room in the headquarters. Uh, I'm talking to this guy and he, is explaining to me what the situation is. So their head, like their big boss policeman, has basically set up a team to track me down. Uh, and they like they know everything. They knew that I'd rebooked my flight twice and delayed it twice. They knew exactly when I was supposed to fly. It was like the end of the day that they collected me. And they managed to find out exactly where I was staying, which is nuts, but then these people can see everything, right? So they come to the hotel, they collect me and what they're saying is that what their job is, is to protect the general public in Dubai. So their reasoning for, for wanting me to stop climbing is if one person, no matter how stupid they are, sees one of my videos and thinks it's a good idea to go out and climb something without any practice, without any thought, and then falls off and dies, that is what they're trying to stop. Just that one person, that one hint of like possibility of a stupid person going out and trying it and falling it was kind of funny it was kind of sneaky so he what he said was right we're gonna write up this agreement that says i james kingston will never climb in dubai and then they wanted me to sign it and i was like really 
you really think that's necessary? And he was like, well, you can sign it, but you don't have to sign it. But it was kind of like said in the way that if I didn't sign it, something worse would happen. Like they just straight up ban me from Dubai, right? Like you could just, you just knew that that was the situation. It was like a, it was like a gentle threat, you know? So I'm like, yeah, screw it. I'll just sign it. Like I've climbed everything anyway. <laughs> I've climbed so much that I've kind of done it now. So yeah, signed it. I, James Kingston, will not climb any buildings in Dubai without permission. And that was it. The deed was done. So the paper's been signed. I'm chilling in this room still. We're just talking about stuff. Like they ended up being really nice guys actually, which is something that I get a lot is like, people see my videos and my pictures from Dubai and they're like, mate, you need to be careful out there. They'll chop your hands off. But it's not like, these people that say that have never been to Dubai. They just make these crazy assumptions that, that it's like that. If you get caught trespassing, they're gonna cut your hands up. But it doesn't happen. Like they're not stupid and they're not bad people. They're like some of the nicest people I've ever met have been in Dubai. They don't cut your hands off for trespassing. So we're all hanging out. We've got like cups of teas going on and we've got, yeah, pretty cool. What happened after that? I'm losing my memory, man. I swear the older I get, the quicker I forget things. It's not good. It's not a good sign. So me and this guy are done in the headquarters. We go outside, he calls his mate, he brings the car around and the guy's driving me home and like for the whole journey home, the guy's just on his phone. He's like doing his business, texting, phoning people up. And I'm like, just out of curiosity, is it illegal to use your phone in Dubai while you're driving? And he's like, yeah, but because I do it, I never give anybody tickets for it. And I was like, sweet. Fair enough. I get back to the hotel, the woman behind the reception gives me like a super dodgy look because she thinks I'm some kind of criminal. That was it. That was, that was the end of that crazy adventure. Mad. Absolutely mad. I've had some crazy, interesting like adventures in my time and that's just another one. Another one to add to the list, so I'm happy about it in that sense because it was like a fresh experience. It was kind of cool. It was kind of badass being picked up by these undercover agents. Um, but yeah, ultimately I can't climb in Dubai anymore. I'm banned from climbing in Dubai. Kind of sucks, right? But it's alright because I've done loads. So I'm, I'm, I'm alright with it, really. It sucks, but it's not too bad. It could be worse. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little story. Um, quick life update. So I'm back in the UK. Uh, what are we on now? What's the date? March something? So the, I th in a couple of days, like two days, I go to Bulgaria and go and snowboarding. I went snowboarding again for the first time in ages in Dubai. And like the mall, they have like a crazy indoor ski slope. I went snowboarding, reminded myself how much I love it. And now me and Maggie D were going snowboarding in Bulgaria in two days for like eight or nine days or something. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be so sick. Yes. And then I come back home uh, for like maybe a week or two and then I am going to Los Angeles again. I'm going back to LA finally. It's been so long but it's only been like four months since I got back but I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going back out there to hang out with the Fades dudes. Oh yeah, check this out. This is sick. Right, Fades shirt. How sick is that yes so yeah going back out to see my dudes that's really as far as i will ever plan ahead i never really plan further ahead than like two weeks unless it's like a big trip like the la one always living for the moment i don't like planning because i don't know what's coming i like not knowing what's coming because it keeps life interesting and it's unpredictable and that's cool that's the way i like to live my life I'm gonna shut up now because I've been talking for ages. I never do these like videos like this, but I um, felt this one was appropriate. I have lots of fresh videos coming, lots of climbs, lots of long, like 20, 30 minute climbs, which everybody seems to be loving. I can't believe, like I've got my social blade up right now just to look at the numbers and I cannot believe how many subscribers I'm getting. Like there's so many new people subscribing. There's so many new people, there's so many new yous out there. That's just amazing. It's amazing. It's like 2,000 subs a day for a long time. Before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers, like 2,000 new subscribers a day. If that's one of you guys, thank you. You are appreciated. You're awesome. I can't believe it. So many people, so many people a day. 
Like we're so quickly approaching half a million subscribers, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. If you enjoyed this little story of me getting arrested and nearly ended up in jail or my hands chopped off, or if you're happy that none of that happened, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new for plenty of new videos coming very soon of me climbing stuff and exploring and all that fun stuff. There's lots of it on the way. I never know how to end these videos. Oh yeah, so I mentioned Counter-Strike. I have a gaming channel that, I don't know, I think I've got like 10k subs now, which is cool. Um, I don't use it that much, but I want to because I love playing Counter-Strike. I'm like super addicted to CSGO right now. Uh, go and subscribe to it. I'll put it, where should I put, whoa, this is backwards on the screen. I'll put it there. Go subscribe to my gaming channel and watch the videos and tell me to make more so that I actually make more because I always forget. Ah, is that it? That's it. That's everything. I'm sorry I blabbered on for so long. Mad respect if you made it this far. This is probably going to be a long ass video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. In like, probably in a week. I don't know. But I'll see you then.